Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard to this flight. I am cabin crew Laika together with cabin crew Mika, Precious, and Desiree, taking you off with us in Region 12, Central Mindanao. So sit back and enjoy the trip. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Micaela Contreras, and I am here to present the province of South Cotabato. South Cotabato is a haven of waterfalls, lakes, rivers, and mountains. It is known as the land of the dream weavers since the Tibuli tribe who specializes in weaving originated and lived here. It is also a province where you can find the Tuna capital of the Philippines, the General Santos City. Amid security threats that have been around Mindanao, many are still going and coming back to South Cotabato. Just like other regions in Mindanao, South Cotabato makes the most out of its rich and captivating nature. It has a fertile soil which paves the way for agriculture industries and multiple migrations. What to do in South Cotabato? First, a visit in Lake Cebu, second, Seven Falls zip line, and the third one is Tarshir. First, Lake Cebu. This is the living attraction in the place located in the town Cebu in South Cotabato. But more than being a tourist spot, it is also a major watershed and the lake has paved its way to a developing aquaculture industry. There are also several restaurants around that serve local dishes, specifically tilapia. Second one is the Seven Falls Zip Line. Those who have the daredevil spirits would surely enjoy this adrenaline rush activity. In trying this, you will have to fly above the tree up to seven falls of the entire Lake Cebu with a speed of 100 to 120 kilometers per hour. Third is Tarshir. In Linan, located at the foot of Mount Matutum, is now known as the Tarshir Sanctuary of South Cotabato. Built for jumping Bohol, in Bohol, they have developed a semi-wild enclosure to keep the Tarshirs in. But tarsiers in Linan, which could be another subspecies, are wild. Here are the food and delicacies of South Cotabato. To experience different recipes of tilapia, because tilapia is the main product of Lake Cebu dating back to 1970s, it has a significant role in the economic status of the whole region. It has made Lake Cebu a first-class municipality and people got to own a high quality of living. Not only that, people also had the chance to make different recipes out of it. Therefore, expect to dine on different dishes when in Lake Cebu. Sinaglay, it is one of the delicious ways to prepare tilapia or any other fish is sinaglay. It is a way of cooking in South Cotabato where the fish is covered or wrapped in cabbage and cooked in coconut milk. The second one is the chicken native adobo. This is not the ordinary adobo, not that I'm saying adobo is ordinary, but the chicken use in this dish has a different flavor from that of commercially raised broiler chickens. Cooking this dish in the most Filipino adobo style is one of the most delicious ways to have it. Accommodation, here are some examples of hotels that South Cotabato offers. First is the Greenleaf Hotel in Jensan, which costs 4,184. Sun City Suits, which cost 2,074. Third is Microtel by Wyndham General Santos, with the price range 2,991. And lastly, the Budget Hotel is the Family Country Hotel and Convention Center with which costs 1,721 pesos only. When it comes to the port access of South Cotabato, General Santos City is the gateway to Cotabato City. Flights from Manila and other key cities are available on a daily basis. From General Santos City, you can easily get around the province by taking a bus or a van to other towns in cities like Coronadal, Lake Cebu, and etc. General Santos is also a three-hour bus away from Davao City. Now, let's tackle about the festival in South Cotabato, which is the Tinalak Festival. 
It is the festival held every month of July in Coronadal. South Cotabato is said to be one of the most authentic ethnic festivals in the Philippines. The colorful festival got its name after the unique abaca cloth with beautiful geometrical patterns weaved by the Tibuli women. Being celebrated yearly every second week of July, this event portrays and showcases the rich culture of South Cotabato. Through this, varied provincial activities are being done throughout the festival. And that that's all for the um, for the province of South Cotabato. And thank you for listening. Mabuhay, maayong hapon. Akong pangalan ay Desiree Malibiran. Kamusta naman ka? Dalon ko kayo sa Cotabato. Cotabato City is located in southern Mindanao, in a swampy area near the southern banks of the Cotabato River and just inland of the Moro Gulf. It is the primary trade and commercial center for all the southwestern Mindanao, rice, corn or the maize, coconuts, sugarcane, coffee, and bananas are grown in the region. One of the activities that you can add on your itinerary is the Kalanganan Bay Walk. Watching the sunset and watching fruit bats at dusk are the main attractions. Trivia! Bay is a Maguindanawan term for women of royalty. To get here, you can book a flight on Philippine Airlines from Manila and other cities. General Santos City is also the doorway to Cotabato City. Cotabato City is known for its freshest tilapia that can be cooked in different ways. Among them is the, is the nilasing na tilapia and pinapotok na tilapia. Their tilapia is commonly cultured in Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. If you are into grilling, you may have it grilled. The common folks would usually deep fry or curry it with coconut milk. Whatever way, the fish is always fresh. Two hotels that can accommodate you are the 88 Hotel and the Tierra Montana Hotel. 88 Hotel is a three-star budget-friendly hotel home to 88 guest rooms. It has facilities like free Wi-Fi, 24-hour security, daily housekeeping, and 24-hour front desk. Tierra Montana Hotel is a three-star hotel located within the heart of the city. Its convenient location makes it accessible to the city's destination. It also offers free Wi-Fi in all rooms, 24-hour security, daily housekeeping, casino, 24-hour front desk. You can choose from 27 rooms and it also has outdoor pool, massage, and garden to relax and unwind. The Tuna Festival is an annual festival celebrated on the first week of September in General Santos, known as the Tuna Capital of the Philippines due to the abundance of the fish in the waters of Sarangani Bay. Madamo nga, salamat! Hangtud sa sunod! Maayong hapon, I am Laika Marie Quaresma and today I will be presenting the province of Sarangani. But before I proceed with the presentation, I will share some fast facts about this region. The total land area of Sarangani is 3,601.25 square kilometers. The major industries in this region are aquaculture, agriculture, plantations, and tourism. The number of municipalities is 7, while the number of barangays is 141. Port of Access General Santa City is the only gateway to Sarangani Province. Flights from Manila, Cebu, and other key cities in the Philippines are available. You can also fly to Cotabato or Davao and take a bus from there. The travel time from Davao and Jensen is about 3 hours. From Jensen, you can take a van to explore the rest of the Sarangani Province. Let's now move on to the attractions and activities in Sarangani. First is the Gumasa Beach. Sarangani welcomes you to Gumasa Beach, a haven in the south. If you like the water and the sands in Boracay, you will surely love this place as it gives you the same Boracay vibes in the south, but fewer party people. 
It is also one of the beaches here in the Philippines that remained untouched by human developments. Next is the Tucamarin Park. Tucamarin Park is one of the tourist spots in Sarangani in which serves as the marine sanctuary with four coves protected by the local government. Among the beaches, the Tuca 3 is the only one open for public visit as implemented by the local government of Sarangani. Do you want to experience a world-class diving? Then, the Lemlunai Dive Resort is what's best for you. You will get the opportunity to learn new things, new diving skills, and see the stunning beauty of diving site. The spot is not limited to divers only. You can also explore the island even if you are not a pro. So be sure to check this place in Maasim to experience Sarangani more. Range of Accommodation If you are looking for a budget-friendly hotel or accommodation, then the RSG Micro Hotel is what's best for you. It costs 632 pesos per night. For mid-range, we have the Zanrak Micro Hotel that costs 1,121 pesos per night. And for expensive or luxurious accommodation, we have the Sarangani Hotel Residence that offers impeccable service and all essential amenities to invigorate travelers. These are the selection of top facilities such as the 24 hours room service, free Wi-Fi in all rooms, 24 hour front desks, Wi-Fi in public areas, and car park that can be enjoyed in the hotel. And a night in this hotel costs 2,600 pesos. Next is the food and delicacies in Sarangani. First is the Tinibuok na Manok. It is a whole chicken soup or almost like tinola, but the chicken is cooked whole with lemongrass and cabbage giving a mild sweet citrus flavor. Next is the sweet and sour lapu-lapu. The fish was fried whole then dosed in a light but savory sweet and sour sauce. Then last is the pinakamalat. It is a beef meat cut in bite size or chopped, mixed with cubed potatoes and carrots, garnished with mixed chopped onions and green chili, and topped with palapa. Festivals and events in Sarangani First, we have the Lubi Lubi Festival. Lubi Lubi Saglan is a dance festival extolling the many uses of the coconut in homage to Santa Catalina de Alexandria. It shows that there is more to the coconut than just a copra. Next is the Monato Festival. It is a Thanksgiving festival and a grand celebration in commemoration of Sarangani's progressive evolution. It is also the province's foundation anniversary. Next is the Mahin Festival. It is a beach festival and Mahin is a bland term which means ocean, beach, or sea. Then last is the Binuyuan and Bangsi Festival. This festival celebrates the abundance of fish locally known as Bangsi or the flying fish. The cultural group in Sarangani are the Tibuli, the Blaans, Manobo, Obo, and Tagakaulo. Their language and dialects are Manobo language and Cebuano. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something from Sarangani province. Hello everyone, I am Precious Micaela Niñaza and I'm here to present the province of Sultan Kudaran. Welcome to Sultan Kudarat. The province of Sultan Kudarat is known for having the grandest and most luxurious capital building in the entire country and in Asia. Its golden dome and Arabic-inspired architecture will make you feel like you're in the Middle East. The province is also the producer of coffee in the Philippines. And for additional information, the name Sultan Kudarat given to the province was derived from the Muslim ruler Sultan Muhammad Dipatuan Kudarat 
who began to ascend his leadership in the year 1619. Yeah, let's go see the beautiful scenery and things that we can do in Sultan Kudarat. If you're chasing for the sun, check out the Balot Island. It boasts of powdery white sand beaches, inviting turquoise waters, and invigorating sea breeze. Because of the secluded location, it remains one of the most preserved Sultan Kudarat tourist spots. And if you are interested to go there, it is located at Barangay Paril, Kalamansi. Next one is the Sultan Kudarat Provincial Capital. It is one of the top Sultan Kudarat tourist spots standing majestically like the Tamahal of India. This golden domed structure will surely entice you for a peek. Inside, you'll glimpse of high-end chandeliers, fine window drapes, and intricately designed seat and chairs. And one of the finest government buildings not only in the country but also in Asia. But here is the thing that you need to know. This is a half a billion pesos to construct. Super lucky. <laughs> Next one is the Baras Bird Sanctuary. It is home to more than 20,000 migratory birds and it was established in 2002 to protect the species. And the sanctuary covers two hectares consisting of swamps, wetlands, and marshes. And it is located at Takorong City. Hmm, I can hear your tummy. Let's dig into this food and delicacies. Pasil rice. Pasil is basically steamed rice but topped with flaked chicken, beef, or tuna, and wrapped in banana leaves. Each serving of pasil costs between 8 pesos to 10 pesos, which makes it very affordable and portable meal. And it is also be paired with a hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg is one of my favorite food. Next is fruit that grow in abundance in Sultan Kudarat. This is marang. If you are sensitive to smell and taste of durian, then you might love marang. It doesn't have a strong smell and the taste is more fruity. Almost like guyabano but sweeter. It is also very cheap. A small piece of marang costs between 15 pesos to 20 pesos each. You need to take a rest. <laughs> So, let's go now to accommodation, Meza Hotel. Meza Hotel is located in Coronado. Among the facilities of this property are a restaurant, a 24-hour front desk and room service, along with free Wi-Fi throughout the property. Private parking can arrange at an extra charge. And for your second choice, um, 2.7 kilometers from Veranza Mall, with a shared lunch and two-star hotel has also air-conditioned rooms with free Wi-Fi. And each, and each room have a private bathroom. And accommodation features a 24-hour front desk, room service, and luggage storage for guests. And per night, it is 1750 which is good and worth it. So, let us now move on to port access. So, let us now move on to port access. So, Sultan Kudarat has two seaports, the port of Libak in Kalamansig and the San Roque port in Palimbang. So, meron din silang four airports, um, two government-owned, which is Libak Municipal Airport and Pre President Quirino Airport. So, next one is there. They also have private the owned airport, which is the Kalamansig Airport and Kenram Airport. Next is the Bansadayao Festival. Every month of November, the people of Bagumbayan in the province of Sultan Kudarat celebrates their town's founding anniversary with Bansadayao Festival, a week-long celebration highlighted by merrymaking and showcase of their diverse culture. 
Thank you for joining me with this beautiful tour here in Sultan Kedara. See you next time. Bye!